Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. This week we are making a super easy dinner recipe because if there's one thing I get asked for more than anything else, it's 30 minute meals. So we are going to be making red lentil pasta with a super rich and flavorful sauce. It comes together in under 30 minutes using mostly pantry staples. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by dicing up an onion. I'm just using one yellow onion here, taking off the skin and then I'm gonna slice it in half. I find the easiest way to cut these is to cut all the way through. And then from here, just take it, hold on tight, claw your fingers up so you don't cut them, and just dice. And there you go. So that gives us some really tiny pieces. I've got this heating at medium heat, so I'm just going to add a hearty drizzle of olive oil. Then I'll add in those onions. I'm cooking these until they're like really golden, until they have this nice brown tinge to them. This part usually takes like eight to 10 minutes, so you can prep the rest of your ingredients while you're waiting. Make sure to stir occasionally. Now that we've got those beautiful burnt bits, let's go ahead and add in some garlic. I'm using like three or four cloves. I'm also going to add in some dry oregano and dry thyme and about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Toasting the tomato paste along with the garlic and blooming the herbs makes it so that it's a lot more rich and flavorful and it really enhances the flavor. So we'll do that for just about one to two minutes. And then we will deglaze the pan with some wine. Always use a wine that you actually enjoy the flavor of and one that hasn't been sitting on the counter for like three or four days. I was drinking this one last night, and yes, I love my Trader Joe's three buck chuck. So I'll go ahead and deglaze the pan with just like one or two tablespoons. And what this does is it removes any of the stuck on bits and the wine itself adds a lot of robust flavor. From here, we're going to add in about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This just really enhances the flavor, adds some depth. Feel free to skip it if you're not a fan of nutritional yeast. I'm also adding some fresh chopped parsley, about a quarter cup. This is a great way to add in more flavor. Fresh herbs are an instant zap of flavor. We bloomed those herbs earlier because dry herbs just aren't as flavorful, but when you bloom them, they really enhance their flavor. But if you have fresh, I always recommend it. We are using tomato sauce as the base and a can of diced tomatoes. Make sure to add the juices along with it because those juices will help cook the lentils. About one and a half cups of vegetable broth to start, also to cook the lentils. And the star of the show, of course, red lentils. So I'm using a cup of red lentils and I already went ahead and rinsed these. That's just to remove any of the dust or dirt and make sure that they are as clean as we can get them. So I'll go ahead and add that to the sauce. So these are red lentils or orange lentils. Not the same as green lentils or brown lentils, but you can technically use green and brown lentils. They just take longer to cook. So these should be ready in just like 10, 15 minutes of simmering, whereas brown lentils will take about twice the amount of time. Once you have that all nice and stirred together, we are going to have this come to a simmer. All right, you can see it's starting to bubble. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's on low heat, but still simmering. I put a lid on the lentils, not only because it helps keep the heat in, but this way all of the liquid doesn't evaporate off so we don't have to constantly check, make sure we don't have to pour extra liquid in. It should be a pretty self-contained process in there. But after about seven or eight minutes, you can take the lid off, make sure it's still simmering nicely and check on the lentils, see how they're doing, add extra liquid if you need to. Okay, what about the pasta? Well, we're getting to that. So bring a pot of water to a boil on the stove. Make sure you add plenty of salt because we want really well salted pasta. We'll let this come to a boil, speed the process up by putting a lid on it. And now that that is voraciously boiling, let's add in some pasta. You can use whatever pasta you like. Just cook it until it's al dente. Drain off the water and then it'll be time to serve. It is thickening up really nicely now, so I'm just gonna test the lentils for doneness. Mm. I'm so afraid to burn myself. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's really good. The lentils are ready to go. They're still firm. You don't want them mushy because you know sometimes red lentils can get mushy. Sometimes you want that to happen. 
in this case, we don't want that to happen. So once they're nice and firm, kind of al dente, we can go ahead and serve it. And here's a tip for you if you would like a thinner sauce, you can always add in a little bit of that boiled pasta water. I like to add pasta water instead of vegetable broth because the starch from the pasta creates a thicker sauce and the water is already hot unlike the vegetable broth. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It's kind of amazing that these are mostly pantry staples, but I think that's the magic of cooking. One of the reasons I love this recipe is because it is packed with protein from those lentils. So if you're just craving a simple pasta dinner, throw some lentils in and you'll get a bunch of fiber and a bunch of protein and like zero hassle at all because they cook in 15 minutes. The full instructions, ingredients list, more tips and tricks and serving ideas are on my blog at CozyPeachKitchen.com. I have that link down below. My goal is to make plant-based eating easier for you. So if you ever have any questions, leave a comment down below. And of course, if you get a chance to try this recipe, I would love to hear how it goes. I'm going to be making more 30 minute meals in the coming weeks. So keep an eye out and hit subscribe. That way you'll never miss a new video.